Ah, welcome everyone to another episode of Victoria 2 Heart of Zo Zombies. Heart of Zombies. You know what? That is what I'm going to be calling this series. Heart of Zombies. USA Mod. Wa ha 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 ha. So guys, we are back here in this episode of Awesomeness where, as you guys know, we had just declared war on the mighty, mighty Prussians and we were invading their land. Which is actually kind of awesome. So... We also have a couple of division uh, decisions, which I just realized the only decision we can do is the Trail of Tears, which, as I've said before, I will not do because I am not one of those kind of people. It's just not in me to be, like, evil, and even if it is for the betterment of... Alright, it was for the betterment of society that, we, that it was probably good that they probably moved the natives out there, but it's also really bad. I don't know, I'm not... I feel like if I get into this, this is going to open up a whole big can of worms, so, yeah. Just, let's just take it like this, it's a bad decision overall. Okay, there we go. Anyways, we got a couple factories that are closing down on us. One really stupid factory right in the middle of Utah. Why would you have clothing in Utah? I don't know. I'm questioning my game for here. And anyways, we're in a gigantic war that's actually making me bankrupt. Apparently this is like collapsing almost all my factories. Am I tariffing a lot? No, I'm not tariffing a lot. So I'm wondering why are my factories collapsing right now? Uh, I think, yeah, I think after this we're probably going to have to like stop going to war for a little bit. Because that's, the game's basically telling me that I've warred a little bit too much. And... Yeah. <laughs> That's all I gotta say on that matter. So, anyways, we're just going to be casually invading the mighty, mighty, uh, you know, Prushkins. They're going to be a little difficult. They, at least I hope so. I, I hope they give me somewhat of a fight. I, I do hope that my, like, 13k army isn't, like, so invincible to where no one else in Europe will be able to challenge me. I mean, that's just not fun. Seriously. I want to have at least a little bit of a challenge. I want them to at least try to fight me. Like, where's the, like, 7k army or something? Uh, come on, Europe, give me something. I don't want to just be like... Yeah, this is too easy. We're, this is way too easy. You guys are going to all die. And I am starting a little bit worry about that death stack that's moving through France. Or France. Because it is destroying almost everything around there. And that's usually good but usually bad at the same time so yeah I'm kind of worrying about it because it's like slowly moving through France which is what we do need we do need France to be destroyed but um I'm really kind of worried that it could possibly destroy me in the end so we have to watch out for that and apparently I'm influencing so many countries it's almost impossible for me to keep up the one important country, though, I actually do want to influence right now is Hawaii, because, as we know, if you if, if you get Hawaii in your sphere, then they will become your, uh, 50... <sighs> Guys, I don't know what state we're on yet. <laughs> this union has grown way too big for me to count the states. In fact, during class, I bet you're just like... Okay, everyone, it's time to name. This is my. That's that's my teacher voice. Everyone, name the states. Uh, we have Alabama. We have this. We have the Floridas. We have the less, the lesser angled Isles. We have the uh, we have the Canadians. We have the uh, Germ. We have the Germ. We have the Germ Americans. You know what? Yeah, we're gonna call them American Germans, cause that's basically what what they are. <laughs> That's apparently how, and we also have the territory known as South American South America. The great territories that we own. Great, great America. <laughs> I don't know. That was just kind of, I kind of moved into a politician speech from a kid's point of view. That, that, that works, actually, now that I think about it. But, yeah. We totally, yeah, just, just destroy this, destroy the Persian army. Make them feel really bad about themselves for the fact they don't have anything. But... Um, yeah, it's going to be, I would think counting the states in this, in this country would be like a major, major to-do list, and I, I would probably be one of those people that'd be like, yeah, I'm not doing this, this seems like a waste of my, what the heck? Okay, I'm all for, like, my factories collapsing on me, but that's a lot of factories collapsing on me. Well, a lot of these don't have any workers, so 
It's actually kind of, well, this one actually could have some workers. Hmm. This one doesn't have any sulfide, so, I don't know. There's a, I think some of the reasons why these factories are collapsing is because they have, they built them in stupid regions, okay? Like, seriously, that's pretty stupid regions. And you know, I'm making a lot of money, so I'm just going to, like, de collapse all tariffs because I think that might help us out a little bit. This is, I'm, like, losing so many men from, like, random things. And long live the USA! Yay! USA is slowly annexing Prussia. That is our goal. This has been the goal of the United States from the beginning. Is to annex Prussia. Well, actually, it has been because... Oh, because the numero doctrine says it should be. So, we are we are basically taking, taking liberty back into our hands because all these powers have declared a state of emergency and are not willing to give back the power to the people. So we as Americans are coming in to reunite liberty. In fact, you could call the New Moral Doctrine not only an act of, of aggressive expansionism, but an act of liberalism. And an act for the great and mighty sense of liberty and possibility. Thank you, everyone. Okay, so let's see. My poor class is... I'm gonna have to, like... We're gonna have to have a chat later on with this, because this is, like, really bad. Okay, just open all factories that were closed. I'll deal with it in a second. Let me just finish up with this war. Ah, uh, kaboom! Remember, everyone, when it does not go kaboom, you know something's gone wrong. Excellent mechanized mining, uh, and explosives, and yeah, these, these, I don't know what's happening over here in France, but I really hope those, that army does not come over. It's gonna slowly migrate over here. It's probably gonna go into my land, so that's not good. That means I'm actually gonna have to actually deal with some uh, potential zombies over here in in my colonized land. Well, um, <coughs> states, um, zombies. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> we have gained. <coughs> um, people, we have gained a repair debt because it's been like. Against the zombie land. Those zombies, we know, do not pay their debts. So we as Americans must find it in our hearts to go in and destroy them. So, as liberty shines in the total aspect of America, we look to our nation's songs of our praise of how we slaughter millions of zombies. Great, great songs of America. Why do we keep getting all these events? I don't care about any of these countries. Like, sorry, sorry Netherlands. But I really just don't care about you guys. And somebody did comment about last episode about me. Or was it two episodes? Some episode ago, somebody like said, oh yeah, they aren't... You shouldn't call them the Dutch because they're not the Dutch, they're the Netherlands and there's a big difference, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, they're the Dutch. The culture, specifically speaking, they, this culture is called the Dutch. And the zombies spawning in how many places? Okay, so we had like three different groups of zombies. Let's find all the, the places so we can wipe them all out. Because I really don't want to deal with any of these zombies. So that's one place they spawned. Do they spawn anywhere in the States? Okay, but yeah. Um, basically what I was gonna say is that, uh, really only one place spawns zombies. Okay, let me make sure about this, cause that, that, that seems a little bit low. Hostile, okay, okay, only one place spawns zombies, okay, well, let's go kill it. But anyways, um, yeah, um, while, while that may be the Netherlands, yes, the country is named the Netherlands, the culture group, and the also AK, basically the AKA name of the, uh, Oh come on, Jacobsons! Or Jacobsons, whatever you pronounce the names. These guys have been a royal pain in my... Yeah. For years! Okay, do my troops... Are my troops on it? Yep, my troops are on it. Good troops. Go slaughter all those stupid rebels. Uh, but yeah. And I think after this, I'm gonna, like, initiate a gigantic, uh, building program with my, uh, ships. Cause I feel like I need to, like, increase my ship building, because it feels really small in comparison to, like... You know, usually what you're supposed to have about this time. I mean, I'm taking a very relaxed approach to, like, most of my, uh, gameplay right now. Just because I really don't have to be, like, 
on the top or be like really competitional because most of my competition is probably going to be wiped out anyways in the next couple turns with that horde whatever it's coming to comes over kaboom and get right here Berlin's conquered although Berlin's not the capital Berlin is not the capital right now so let's move to Stratton who is the capital because that's the place we actually should be conquering and let's see is Hawaii yes Hawaii can be a part of my sphere again Mining outputs are going to be increased again. Let's just keep going down Cumberance because Cumberance is falling a little bit behind the rest of these. Yeah, okay, so let's go back to Hawaii. Uh, keep it, keep moving the game. Okay, Hawaii, do, 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 do. let's add an increase opinion. Now, Hawaii is friendly with us. So now we gain a humility Cosbella against France, of course. If it was a conquest Cosbella, I might go in. But humiliations, I think, are kind of stupid in my opinion because honestly, no one ever goes to war against another country for humiliation. I mean, in real life we did, but I mean, in a game standpoint, what game? This is I don't know. In a game standpoint, why would you want to go to war for humiliation? Unless you got like a free cause of spell like with that humiliation, I don't think you'd ever do it. Now let me make sure there is no possibility of me adding more land. Okay, there is a possibility that it'll actually let me add more land to these guys. So. So I'm going to have to decline and think about what I want. Let's see, we can totally rip a new one into the, uh, you know, basically Germans. So, let's think about this. We should annex some of the little tiny states. First off, that's going to be, that should be one of our goals, actually. And let's just, actually, since we're going to be doing that, we should probably go stand on some of these regions. So let's see, Brunswick and Brasenburg, which I think are right here. That's Brunswick, or Brasenburg. Where's Brunswick? Where's Brunswick? Okay, Lippe, Lippe Dento. Okay, where's that little tiny German state? That's Baden. Hmm. There it is. Okay, so I'm gonna actually conquer these two states right here so that we can instantly, like, annex both of these guys and then, you know. Uh, let me just conquest, add it to that. Yeah. So that we could just instantly, like, do a lot of cool things. And apparently Mexico has become a... an um, ultra-liberal place. Ooh-rah! And I can build the canals! Yes! Oh gosh, that'll make traveling so much easier. Oh, and I gain prestige for it too. Yes! Even though I don't need prestige. Yeah! Look at that, everyone! The Panama Canal! All built by America! Yeah! America! Okay. And we're just gonna conquer all this land over here. Take those both those little tiny lands, and then we're probably gonna rip the new one into the Prussians. And by then, I think we basically conquered all the major powers around the world, to where they can't really do anything about it. I'm, I'm their overlord. <laughs> America is their savior and over. Oh, and look, some of the lands, some of France's land is always starting to be deteriorated. That's not good. Okay, let me go right here individually piece out these guys so that they will have to accept my annexation okay now we go over here and gonna go annex these guys and then send money once these guys are annexed then I'll like think about peace if uh, curse you jindoist uh, I'm gonna have to accept oh come on I hate the jindoist they ruin like every I hate my like my people, why are you not more bloodthirsty and like land conquering? Seriously, it would we could create the state of Kansas. Wait, Kansas wasn't a state yet. Oh gosh, I feel like I want to deny them statehood now. Oh gosh. Okay, so as everyone says in like, I guess in this time there's no place like Kansas. So Kansas is now a state. So that puts us up to. Okay, now I don't even know what's a state anymore. <laughs> okay, how many more places do we have in natural United States and not a state? I think that was the last one. So, apparently Arizona and Mexico became a state before all these other places. Netherlands, you guys are going to get declared war on here very soon. <laughs> I can't, I just cannot. Okay, we open all the factories that just closed. I guess I'll be nice and I'll subsidize a lot of them. This is going to like put my money down to like zero. But... I'll subsidize a lot. Okay, guys, so we just experienced a crash where, you know, the game crashed and we had to rewind from, like, 
game settings. So yeah, this is what I was kind of talking about earlier. If you guys remember in a couple of videos ago, I said this game does crash a lot. That was just an example of one of the crashes. So um, luckily though, we didn't go back too far. We just went back like, you know, by a little bit. But that has taught me to keep it at four. I'm not going to go above four in this game at all. Like it has, I, I that basically right there, that proved to me officially that no we should never go above four four is like the max we should go yeah <laughs> just yeah so anyways um right now don't remember what we were actually working on but i think we can finally move up to machine guns without feeling too threatened and we can also construct ironclads which are really cool um we're going to individualize piece off for you guys get that then peace out for you guys, get that, because I remember last time our people did not want us to uh, war anymore, which was stinking, and now Kansas is a state again. Kansas gained statehood in two episodes, well not two episodes, in about two minutes. It lost statehood and then it gained statehood again. You guys are like the luckiest state ever. So let's see, is there anyone really mad at me for anything I don't give you guys, because just tell me now, basic education, sure, we'll give it to you. Okay, and let me just like open all factories and subsidize all factories. There we go. Ah, America. We're running smoothly because we actually give out healthcare to a very, I mean, healthcare would be a good thing in this world. I mean, there's an entire zombie apocalypse, you know, thing going on. I mean, it kind of makes sense that people do need healthcare. It, it would almost be, now I'm kind of thinking about it, it kind of be a necessary to survive in a zombie apocalypse just to get healthcare. Like, it could also be a, you know, also dig deep and greedy. But it also could be a, like a class thing, almost, even. Okay, Hawaii, add the sphere, yes. Hawaii's now in my sphere, let's see. Do I, when will I get the event that I get to annex Hawaii? The Newlands Resolution, wow, that took really, okay. <laughs> that took like no time at all. Okay, everyone, we have Hawaii. Yay, and I'll start making that a good, like, I would spend my own money to make that a good port. Okay, do we have any loans or stuff I have to deal with? Uh, loans given lots to everyone. I mean, everyone owes America. We owe nothing to the world. That's how it should be. That is definitely how it should be. Oh, excuse me. So, anyways, uh, Mexico, I think, has fa finally fallen. Oh, shoot! Go kill him! Oh, shoot, I wasn't paying attention! Go kill him, go kill him! Oh, yes! Whew! Oh my goodness, those zombies almost actually conquered a little bits of America. Which then could have possibly spawned a gigantic catastrophe. Because right now I have like the biggest population. Which means I could possibly bring the biggest like, you know, zombie threat to the world. And let's start like colonizing this so that we can actually, you know, unite all of America. And somebody was asking in the comment section if I'm ever going to finish South America. Uh, maybe. In a couple episodes, maybe. And, oh my goodness, Europeans, stop trying to colonize Africa! Ugh. Well, I mean, I guess France has kind of a good setup right now, but seriously, France could go on like such a cool conquest spree. I mean, look at this. I already know that there's going to be good land, like right here. I want this land. This land is so great. I mean, if I was Germany, speaking of which, this is like my typical German start, I like to call conquer this kind of region and this kind of region from Austria because I know this region is going to be so good and there's like the biggest oil deposits over here in like Austria gosh dang okay so I have 417 subsidies some of these things are a little bit too high um if it's if it's at least 87 to 51 subsidies and they're still going negative I'm going to delete them so two lumber mills in Tennessee and Pennsylvania I'm going to delete those because like I said, I'm not dealing with uh, stupid, you know, subsidies. It's just not... This is going to collapse no matter what we do. <laughs> like, there's some things... There's just some things you know in economics that is just not going to help with the uh, economy. Like, this this is just not going to help. Seven, negative seven is just not going to help the world output or input or whatever you want to call it. It's just not going to help. So, we need to find, like, places oh, like this... Oh my goodness, what happened? What happened? Market spending, worker and capitalist paychecks. Oh my goodness, this like collapsed it. I will keep this one alive just because it has sentimental value to me because it was the first lumber yard we ever built. 
But there was a lumber yard in Pennsylvania I had to shut down. This one, because it's like costing me so much money. And the other one was in Tennessee. Tennessee, even though it doesn't make sense to have a lumber mill in Tennessee, apparently in this game standards, it does not make sense to have a. Okay, I probably should have just gone alphabetical. Okay, Tennessee, there it is. There we go. Shut it down. Go to these other factories and help them survive. Okay, now that we have that set up, and now that we're expanding a little bit, which is kind of cool, uh. Hey, we can start colonizing, uh. The Netherlands. Let's do that right now. So the boxers, every, everyone's starting to become more organized with the rebellions. Actually, let's see about the rebellions. How are we doing? Uh, they're a little bit weak right now. They, they really need to learn how to, you know, be a rebellion. So we're not going to worry about that. But we can honestly do some more conquests over here. That sounds good. Let's do that. Let's see. Is this good for open conquesting? No, this is owned by the other great power in the game called Scandinavia. But they're not really great power. France and Spain are actually starting to get really into this whole colonizational thing. And they're starting to become great powers, which is not good. I repeat, that is not good to have them as great powers. And exploding Plattsburgh! I think that's good. <laughs> I didn't really read the event, but I think that's good. Okay, I'm also going to try to lower taxes now. So I feel like taxes are at an all-time high. And my people really do need a break. Like... I feel like I've taxed them to the point of them like hating me, so let's just like, let's just not have any taxes for a little bit. I mean, it doesn't really matter. No one's ever gonna go to war with me for like taxes, and if they do, then they're really being stupid because I have the army to destroy almost everyone in this country without any doubts. So, yeah. And it seems like Mexico has, you know, more or less completely collapsed, so. Let's see, what was the places I wanted? I wanted this place right here. Let's see, the valuable places in Mexico I want. Um, that place right there, that's connected to... Is this the same one? Yes, this is the same region right here. So, right here is the region I want. Are all the places collapsed? No, these two places still need to collapse, and then I can go in and start colonizing this. Yeah, America. <laughs> like, I, I feel kind of bad, because these are the Mexicans, and I did have a... I could have saved these guys. I feel like I could have definitely saved Mexico. I mean, it's, it isn't like the other places where I was just like, yeah, uh, they're, they're fine. Um, you know, they, they might have a little bit of rebellions here and there, but th they'll be fine. Don't worry. They'll be fine. Okay, and can I justify a war? Yes, I can. Let's just acquire another state from you. And, yeah, we're just, we're just going to war with anyone right next to us. That's all I'm basically doing. Uh, and I don't really care about infamy right now, but yeah. Oh, whew. we just have to go to Secrets of Venting. And everyone, I'm sorry, but we are out of time. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. See you guys next time.